Hello Magic players, welcome you to episode 219 of the Bruce Tavern. Charles, good to have you here, how are you doing? Good, uh, I like the decks we have today. What's your preview? Um, a friend of mine sent me a list, I think from Victor Patternson. Um, he played five color Underworld Dreams. Super cool list, I hope it will be good to play and I, I made some smaller changes. Um, but yeah, we talk about that in the deck tag. What did you bring for us today? Okay, so I have a so I'm gonna try a Eureka list. Um I think it might be maybe you play the creatures at some point, but I think I might have one, two, or three new creatures that haven't appeared on Brewers from the Alpha set originally. Um they're pretty beefy creatures. Uh it'll be fun to play them. You'll have to tell me if uh in, in my deck tech uh if and when you play them, but it, it should be a lot of fun. Um, hoping uh, with a bunch of birds, I, I can get away with three Eurekas, because that card is really fun when it does something, and when it does nothing, and you're top deck and you draw it, it it's a, a feel bad. So uh, don't know if three or four is the right answer, but we'll uh, we'll see today. Um, let's take a look at your Underworld Dreams list, and we'll go from there. Yes, and here we are. This is my five-color Underworld Dreams. Not Actually, it's not my list, uh, but I I will use it for today. Um, it's quite cool to play Underworld Dreams again, fully focused on dreams this episode. Um, I also added a super spicy win condition. I added Channel Fireball. I know it might not work uh, because you need a lot of setup, but fingers crossed that the Disintegrate will do some work. Um, the card, there are a lot of cards which you normally only use in Underworld Dreams decks. Um, let's start with the flash counters, which counter interrupt. So you can uh, counter Disenchants for a colorless and a blue. It's a Legends card. Um, this list is relatively aggressive. It runs three Black Vice. Um, you can easily remove Disintegrate and Channel from that list and add a Library and another Winds of Change or a Mind Twist depends on uh, on your play style and what you want to do um, f furthermore the list runs uh, for dark ritual to ramp out quick underworld dreams um, both draw sevens holding mines uh, hopefully you did not bring any relic barriers today fingers crossed um, in the sideboard I went with three gloom uh, two blue blast uh three red elemental blast the original list runs two abyss in the sideboard and only two gloom i only own two abyss so that is the that is the other change in the sideboard um also this list has a mirror universe which is quite good with an x burn spell in the main board that's why i also decided to add a uh, channel fireball um, as you can see, no library, no mind twist for this episode. Um, I was a little bit salty last episode. Maybe some people would call it salty. I would call it a little bit competitive anyways. Like the, the library games was not made for me last episode. So um, I decided to play no library this time. Um, also, Charles called me beforehand and said he will not play a library. So I decided myself to play no library. Um, because I'm a man of honor, sometimes at least. Um, yeah, with that wait, said... Wait, you, you, I, I thought we said we're going to unrestrict library for this episode. I have four. Oh, hmm. Unfortunate. <laughs> but yeah, with that said, I would say let's move on to your list, Charles. I want to do four libraries against one strip mine. Yeah, I think we should we should invent a new old school format and we just allow... Uh, four mind twist, four li no one one mind twist, four library, uh, one strip and four mind, management. and we should ban chaos work because it's just too random. <laughs> um. Okay. So um, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that was uh, here's your list. Now you can go. So yeah, I wanted to give uh, I wanted to give Mitch a break from mind twist library uh, for an episode, and he did the same thing. So I would take just so you know, I would take a volcanic island out one of them, and I would put library in if. I was going to make this uh, like a kind of a normal uh, deck list for me. Um, not sure if that's right, but that's that's what I would do. Just so you know, 
Um, this was actually, I wouldn't run Mind Twist anyway. I just wanted to splash for the tutor. Um, so this is a Eureka list. I'm trying to get away with only three Eurekas because I'm playing four Birds of Paradise. And um, I'll look at the creatures in a second, but the creatures are, five, most of them are five casting costs, and they have some six casting costs. So I'm hoping with the full Boxen, Lotus, Soul Ring, and then four birds, I can eventually get to hard casting them rather than just having a Eureka them out. So I think three Eurekas might be right. But um, let me go through these creatures. Um, the first is Craw Worm. We have a place out of them. Um, it's a green card, two green and four, and it's a 6-4 creature originally from the alpha set it doesn't really see play because um although it's green i mean shiv and dragons is clearly better right um i guess like this gets around cop red and it's okay if you get a free attack and it's a six uh it's a six power not a five although shiv and you can potentially pump to infinity right so it's just a really just a worse card than shiv and, but it is green and uh I did want to play with it. Um, and then we have the other two cards. I'm not sure if we play these creatures. Are <clears throat> Fire and Earth Elemental. Uh, Fire Elemental is... They're both the same cast. It costs two red and three. And the Fire is a 5-4. And the Earth is a 4-5. Um, I'm not actually sure which one of these is better. I don't know if you have an opinion, Misha. But um, which one of these is better? Is it better to have the 4-5 or 5-4? I like the 4-5 more. Because it cannot be blocked really uh, good with Sarah and you cannot Psy Blast it, but it depends. If you're not playing against blue and white, I guess the more power is better, but I normally like... Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, more. that's true. If your opponents are playing Kazams, you'd rather the 5-4, obviously. So it just, you know, who knows? Um, yeah, exactly. But I'm curious what other things. Um, so those are the three creatures that I have play sets of. Did, did you play any of those creatures? Uh, no, I... I think I only own Crow Worm. I do not own, uh, maybe I own one or two Fire Elemental for my uh, Highlander deck, but that's basically it. Um, okay, so this deck last is, since I'm not playing many Shivens, I just flashed two. I'm very worried about um, Moat. Um, uh, COP Red after a sideboard, but mainly Moat. So um, I made sure to splash um, White for four Distant Chance. I'm not playing the balance, I'm not playing the swords, but um, I don't want to lose a game to Moat, so um, hopefully with two plateaus, four cities, a pearl, a lotus, and four birds, um, if I need the disenchant. Now, that disenchant might be great for Dreams this episode, but um, that's the idea. Um, two blood moons, which I think work really well. Um, I do have uh, five basic forest birds, and um, also have a lot of red creatures, and I think the sideboard's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so I don't think I need to go through that. So um, I'm excited to see how this does. And uh, let's go to Brewers and we'll see how the decks do against each other. Yes. Let's go to Brewers Tavern. And close that. Here we are. Hey, hey. I guess you're even. Yep. Six. You can start if you want to. Oh, yeah. Maybe it'd be a first turn. Eureka. So let's shuffle that real quick. Sorry, customer asked me something. Pal it feels good to use these beefy creatures that like never see play. Pile number one. Yeah, it's also cool to see a crow worm. Also, if people want to start old school with a Eureka deck, it's good that they do not Pile two. Pile two? Uh, it's good that yep. they do not need to buy all the shivans and stuff, which is quite pricey as well. Yeah, I think the crawl worms in Unlimited are like two dollars or something. Yeah, not expensive. I keep that. Especially Unlimited is not that expensive. I th I think even in the states, uh, foreign black boarded is way more expensive than. Um... Your turn. Uh, Bayou Chaos Orb. Is that right? No, no. Uh, just a forest. Oh, just a forest. forest. Okay, uh, pass. There's, uh, what cards in the glare? Oh, sorry. Uh, it's the underground sea. Is that a sapphire hidden underneath uh, it? Yes, it's pearl and sapphire. Sorry. Oh, 
Okay. Rika. Fine. I can also cast lands, right? You sure can. Okay, then I will do it. Um, oh, we're, we're, we're. Okay, I have nothing left. And Abbas. Okay, your turn. I draw. I would like to cast Time Twister. Uh, but like I had one of those too. This. Ha! Huh. Uh, this gets back in. <clears throat> shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yeah, the the splash, the disenchant's so good. I was worried about moat, but yeah, there's a lot out there that I'd want to disenchant. And let's see, three, six, seven. Okay, I play another mox. I play a underground C. Um, let's see. For three and dark ritual underworld dreams and a holing mine and pass the turn. All right, so I'm going to take two damage. Yes. Or two. Yes. Uh, one of creature dies. Oh yep 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 yep. Play a city. Yeah. Land for turn. Yeah. We'll go to seventeen. We'll activate Castor. Okay. Target is the yeah. Abyss, I guess. Yep. Yeah. We'll play a crawl room. Sure. <laughs> this looks so cool. I'll uh, swing the crawl room. 14. Untap. All right, that felt good. And Turn six cards. Draw two. Okay, that might be good. Mm. I will cast another Underworld Dreams. Now I need to think. Huh. Try to cast Demonic Tutor. Oh. Really glad your Twister's in the yard. I have Wheel. But the question is, if I go for Wheel... Is that, is that a ruby underneath the pearl? I, yes. I can't see it, yeah. Sorry. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. Like, Come on. Let's go. Rock and roll. All right, I go to three. Uh, I think I didn't make a land drop. I discard Winds of Change and Flash Counter, and I draw seven, three, six, seven. And I cast Winds of Change. Okay, you got it. I mean, you, you got you got both draw sevens. So that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only reason why I won yeah. that round was because the second card I found in Holding Mine was Demonic Tutor. Otherwise, no chance. The worms would right, have kept me alive. Oh, I wanted to beat you with Crawlworm so badly. It's never <laughs> happened before. In old school Magic. No one's ever won a game with them. I mean, it was, it is a six mana creature for six mana. Uh, it's a six mana creature, six for trample, right? That's. Oh, it's not trample. It's just that's the that other um, that other worm that's green and is a uh, like green, 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 a million to cast and has trample and rampage. No one even knows what rampage is. When you cast a card with rampage, you just make up the rule like. What is Rampage? Do you, you know? know I, I really don't know because I never played a card with Rampage in my whole entire life. Sorry for the. Viewers. No, you just you just make you just make up the rule. So like you could say like anything like draw you know draw a card. Okay, Rampage, Rampage means. two means I draw two cards and I put a minus two minus two counter on a creature. Yeah, then you, yeah. And then you put a minus two minus two counter on. Uh, pile three. Uh, pile number one. 
No one knows what it means, so your guess is as good as mine. All right, I will go first. I keep... The Dreams deck looks so good when you get the draw seven. Yeah, I... When you get to draw sevens and your opponent has zero counter spells, the dream stack feels like the best All thing right, on we, earth. We will be keeping this. Okay. Yes, and I will draw three in your upkeep. Okay. I draw for the turn. I play UC Mox. Cast Soul Ring. Cast Dark Ritual and Underworld Dreams. Pass. Okay. Disenchant dreams. Okay. One, two, three, four, should have seven. Yep. Your turn. Wait. Uh, do I play the land? You uh, no, because uh, no, 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 I, I went for land. I know. Yeah. I want to know if I want to play a land. But you did play a land because I went first, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but I'm thinking of I'm not playing draw. it. Uh, I cast Recall for two and pass. Recall is removed. Uh, your turn. I cast Dark Ritual, Underworld Dreams, pass. 18. Okay, bird is good. Oh. Okay. And your turn. Birds. One card. I pass the turn. You lose a life. Yep, thank you. No problem. I have dice around here so I can remind myself. Uh, I'll cast Shivan. Ugh. Okay. I take five. You're five. Your turn. Okay, I play a land. And I disintegrate the Shivan. Ghost. Pass. Grow worm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Perfect. Go to nine. Your turn. Go. Oh no! Oh, the crow worms got gotcha. you. Oh no! They eat me. Eat you. Yum yum, crow worm. This episode will be. There's video evidence. You're the first person to ever lose to crow worms ever in Magic. Oh man, that crow worm got me good. I don't know. I. Sh I think it was the right right choice to throw away the winds of change. Maybe I should have waited one turn longer. Just to keep the winds of change in hand, get a shuffle, you know. Uh... I'll do. I'll do. Uh, pile number three for you. All right, you're on the play. I would try that. Okay, we'll try it. Your turn. You see it. Go. Okay. Uh, End of your turn, draw three. One, two, three. Draw for the turn. Okay. 
um, mocks Dark Ritual, Underworld Dreams, Chaos Orb, Pass. We're 16. Okay, sure. Play land? Yes. Okay. We'll take out dreams. Yes. Return. Drop. Would like to cast Holding Mind. Pass. Big cards you have left. Uh, four. Ah, huh. okay. Forest. Holding mine. Yep. Holding mine. Earth elemental. Cards in hand? I have two. Two. Abyss. Yeah. Uh, I would like to activate the Chaos Orb and take out your Crow Worm. Okay. You had a land drop already, right? Yeah, it was really stupid because I didn't have to play the land. Like, this is like a mistake. I could have eureka and just played all the lands. I did play my land right. with my land drop. It was it was not a smart decision because I could have I could have been able to play a land just from the Eureka uh, all lands Eureka but yeah I did play a land so that was stupid. Okay, I will um, play Crossroads. Yeah. Your abyss is toast. Oh yeah, that's right. Swing for four and. Okay. I draw four. Okay. That's interesting. I play a land, I play a Mox, I play Lotus. I cast Black Lies. Mm -hmm. I would like to take an extra turn. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Then four more. Floop. Then I cast a land. Then I play a Sylvan Library. Yeah, like this. And then I would like to boomerang your Earth Elemental. I have seven cards in hand, and I would like to pass the turn. Okay. I'll draw four. Upkeep, you take three damage. Yeah, oh, I take three damage, that's right. Yeah, yeah just, you're not taking the damage after you drew. That would be poof. Chaos Orb is good. Oh. Uh, crack Lotus for blue and try to mana drain it. Okay. Okay. It's uh, your turn. Okay. Uh, can I do something with the blue? Let me check real quick. Nope. Then I go to my turn. I am honest. I think I look. I look at the top three because of the holding mines, and then I 
look at the look at six cards i look at six cards this is what i want to hear and then i draw four right okay i did that okay i'm in my main face i play a i have five colorless i play a land i cast soul ring then i would like to cast dark ritual dark ritual for another oh sorry ritual ritual six five mana five black and five colors yeah, uh, but you tap two. Okay, yeah, sorry, no, you actually, it's six, six, uh, six, five because I tapped mana yep. for it. Doesn't Got it. matter. Um, thinking. Give me a second. You're at thirteen. I would like to cast Regrowth, one colorless floating. I get back Lotus, crack Lotus for three red. Then I have 15 mana and try to disintegrate you for 14. And there you went for the next game. That wasn't... Games are fun. Hmm? Games are really fun. The, the games are... And they're quick. I'm, I mean, the deck plans are going a little bit beside each other. You know what I mean? Like, they are not exactly doing the same, but it's... I, I like it. It's super cool. And there are some weird kills, which you normally do not see. I mean, producing 15 mana with an Underworld Dreams deck just to f uh, fireball the opponent is strange. That's, yeah, yeah, that is definitely strange. And mana dreams are really good. True, yeah. All right, pile two. Uh, pile number three for you. All right, I'll be on the play. Yo, keep. Yeah, we will take them all again. All right, one, two, three. Number three. Wow. I don't think I can go less. Is really bad. I have no lands. I don't think I'm going to less. Okay, your turn. Guards. Oh, okay, so draw. This. Okay. One card. Okay. Volcanic pearl pass. City. Yep. Oh. And for six. Yes. One card. I draw. I try to cast Dark Ritual and try to draw four cards. You do? Uh, do I draw four? Yeah, four. Okay, and it's two, four, six, eight. I need to discard. It's your turn. Play land? Yeah. I go to eight. Turn one card. 
draw. I play City of Brass. For four with Dark Ritual, I try to cast the Abyss. Okay. And then I pass. We'll disenchant the Abyss. I would like to mana drain that. Okay, I'll activate Chaos Orb. Okay. That's cool. Got the Abyss. Yeah. I have two colorless mana my next turn. Okay, well, I was hoping for lands, but not the next four turns. Alright, swing. Go to two. I have no cards, that's all. I'll fill you. Draw. I play a land. I call I cast recall for one and get the abyss and pass. Go. Alright, Pearl. Uh your turn, no cards. Uh Black Vice and Ah, you only live once. Holding mine, holding mine, pass. I like it. Yeah, I know it is bad, but Shivan is good. I have one card. Okay. Draw three. Oh, wait, 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 in your upkeep, sorry. In your upkeep. I'm going to disenchant. I would like um, to... In my upkeep, okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, so before you do your cards. Uh, yeah, then it is gone. Uh... Then I cast another black vice. And pass. Bounce the shivan. Wait, wait, hold on, I draw, hold on a second. I draw, three. all right, so you bounced it, but I draw three yeah. cards. In total, three, okay. yes. Um, they land. And yeah. We'll yeah. Uh, the bird and I have one card. Draw three. Okay. I play a land. Yes. Underworld Dreams. Twister. Yeah, I take seven. I'm at eleven. And I. Yeah, shuffle everything in beside the twister. Sorry. Whew. I had a land drop. Okay, Lotus, Crack, go to one, oh, that's so greedy, uh, sorry, you're at 11. Crack for blue, Ancestor, draw, oh wait, do I target you? Give me a second. If I wait, 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 six, you're at eleven, right? Oh, come on, crack for black. Go to one. Target you with ancestral. Oh, so what? What are you casting first? Uh, on, do do that slow. Dreams first. Okay, that's fine. And then you cast. Yeah. All right. So in response, go to ten. Disenchant one dreams. Okay. Okay, so you target me, I take three, go to seven. I still have no other disenchant, which is bad. And okay, and I got let's see if right. I Then I pass What's the that? I think I got you. I have double black vice as well. And you draw three. Yeah, you got me. Woohoo! Game. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Those kills with that deck are weird, but they are only good 
if you're right, me, me too. You're too zero you're, you're, you're too happy you're too happy i'm putting the mind twist in library back in the deck yeah <laughs> you need to crush some german dreams um i need to crush some dreams that episode was just better you're too happy this episode yeah uh let's, All right, let's do some sideboarding yeah Really, only two cards. Maybe. Oh, yeah, this is too good. Maybe I, I I'm not the best underworld dreams player ever, and what I do here might be super wrong, but I think it is okay to do that. This is right or wrong. But the style points for the coolest kill will definitely go to you. I think I'm going to take out two shivens. This way, if I win, I have to win with one of the three new creatures. I, mean, I think that'd be more fun. Crow Worm was pretty impressive. I cannot actually deal with Crow Worm. And also, the birds are bad for my Abyss. Because you can just sack it instead of your fatty and just swing for 10, 10 and I'm dead. Also Concordant Crossroads is super scary. Okay, well, we're taking out a lot of good cards. That's fine. Good news about your deck is I have four disenchants and I do, not that you know, but I do run quality in the sideboard. Yeah, I mean, technically, I do not know, but I saw it when you talked about your list. But I'm not boarding, like, I I try to not board or be influenced by that information. Uh, pile two. Let me just uh, give us a good shuffle. I just want to have good games, you know, and not, like, trying to build the anti-anti deck just to win and, I don't know. The games are the games are great, but you, you're too happy. I need to bring the we need to play library mind twist again. Yeah, I I feel ya. I feel ya. Uh, pile number one, please. All right. I'll be on the play. I'm definitely just happy because my kills are also not that uncool. You know, they feel quite. No, they're all, all these all these games are cool. I mean, what you did last game was just cool. Uh yeah, give me one second. Okay, we'll 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 keep we'll keep this. Two four five. Two four six seven. Uh huh. I will not keep that. Okay. Just nothing really good to do here. Three. Pile three. Uh, two, four, five, six, two, four, six, seven. Uh, yeah, I keep that. I put okay. one on the bottom. Yeah. Always this chaos orb. What's wrong with you? I don't the chaos orb. I get soul ring every turn. Let's see. 
Dark Ritual Abyss Scope. Right, we're going to take that out. Aww. Boring. Oh, what a nice top deck. Okay. We'll play a land. Oh. Burst. Oh, yeah, Burst are good. Nothing to do Oh, against. no, that's six. Never mind. Never mind. Well, uh, we'll, we'll just pass. Okay. I will play a land and try to cast Time Twister. Okay. Don't mind that. Three, six, seven. Uh, Cast Soul Ring and pass. That's ancestral. Again? Yeah, you just gave it to me. Oh, yeah, you can have it. We'll play a land for turn. This guy. Crow worm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We will go to discard. Yeah, we'll I, I discard just if that's okay. Discard a uh, bird. Yeah. Oh, that's a good top deck. Now I can say that as well. I try to draw three. One, two, three. Hmm. I play a land. I would love to cast a Abyss. Okay. You have no birds, right? Yeah, no birds. And then I would like to cast a... Recall for one with Winds of Change. Take yeah. back Ancestral and pass. Disenchant Abyss. Aww. But I need it, otherwise I cannot beat your creatures. Um, yeah, that might be true. Uh, My turn. Okay. Tap. Draw. Try to cast Ancestral. Draw three. Okay. Uh, play a volcanic, cast a holding mine, and pass the turn. Draw two. Okay. Land? Yes. Yeah, that's fine. And, uh, sure. uh, I draw two. Flubity. I play Mox Ruby. I play City of Brass. Mm, and then I pass the turn. Okay. Yes. Land. For five. Yes. Go to fifteen. We'll play another one. Sure, that works. And uh I think I'm gonna try to make you win. One more. One more. Okay, now I need to think. I 
think I want to no that's fine that's okay I draw two play a land four black I would like to cast dark ritual five black six mana Seven, eight, nine. I would like to cast Underworld Dreams and Mirror Universe. Okay. And pass the turn. All right. Um, we'll take two damage. Go to 15. Yeah. Okay. I'll go to attack. I would like to bounce one. And go to five. Okay, you put a bounce one, and I will respond to that by disenchanting. Would like to, oh, sorry, would like to mana drain that. Go to okay. Five. All right, you're at a. Uh, I'm at five. four. Untap. Four. Yeah. Untap. Oh, 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 oh. oh okay. how'd you go to untap? That was my second main phase. Okay, sure. All right, your your turn. Okay, untap. Upkeep. I go to three. Then I switch life totals. You go to three. I go to fifteen. No. The other way, yeah. No, I go to fifteen. You go to three. Um, because I took one damage out of the city of press. Then I draw two okay. for the turn. Then I would like to cast the time walk. Okay. Draw two. Then I crack lotus, cast another underworld dreams, and pass. Yeah, uh, yeah, you got it. Yeah. So close, man. That was insane. I think I make one more. Uh, I think we probably have time for one more game. Let me uh, make one more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that that was insanely close. Insanely close. That boomerang saved me. Yep. Sorry. Three. A power one. Yes. Uh, boom, boom. I will wait for you. Four, six, seven. That's good. All right, last game. Yes. All right, one, two, three. Uh, number two. So you give you gave me soul ring every game this episode. Really? Did I? I? I was not tracking that. I was. Yeah. I mean, a soul ring start is probably the best start your Eureka deck can have, right? Or is there a better? Yeah, start? not bad. I mean, Mox Lotus is obviously better, but. Okay, we'll we'll try it. Okay, sure. Sure. Uh, drop. I will play a UC. Mock Sapphire, tap Sapphire for Soul Ring. 
tap UC for Dark Ritual Underworld Dreams and pass. Your turn. Uh huh. Okay, that's super mean. I like to cast Time War. And I would like to cast Wheel. And 11. Three. It's pretty good. Yeah. Three, six, seven. Hmm. Then I go to my extra turn. I draw. Rolling mine. Dark Ritual, Underworld Dreams, Holding Mine, go to 19 and cast Winds. Good game. And you really got hit with the deck today. That, that was the best seven I could wish for. Um, I mean, one, you really got it. Yeah. You definitely drew nuts almost every single game. If you do that well, you, that deck should be winning tournaments. Yeah, exactly. I should bring it. There's really nothing you can do. That was insane. Like, really insane. Never had a, uh, a hand as good in a tournament while running... While running wins decks or, or Underworld Dreams decks. What else did I board in? Give me a second, I need to check my deck list. Abyss. I don't know what I brought in. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I think I remember. I brought in two boomerangs because I have two in the sideboard. Yes, that was exactly what I did. Wait, like this if you want i can start yeah, go ahead. uh so cards i uh did not bring in uh, one black vice because I bought it out three black vices because I thought the normally it's the case that you have zero cards in hand right because you cast um, you cast relatively quick the um, the eureka and then empty your hand and then I need to hope that I find a draw seven to refill your hand and the, that the black vice do something um I decided not to to go that road because that's a lot of ifs and when and then and blah. So I just went with um, with cutting those out as well as Sylvan Libraries because I thought they are only super good in a control matchup. And if you resolve a Eureka and swing for five or six, I can never ever draw an extra card. Um, besides that, Lightning Bolt, do not kill... Any of your creatures. Gloom might be good against your disenchants, but not against the rest. Red Elemental Blast, I've not seen a lot of um, blue cards beside, um, uh, how is it called, beside your uh, power. That's why I didn't go with those. Um, yeah, but beside that, uh, and the blue blast, I would really wish to have the fourth blue blast. The problem was I didn't know what to cut. The, the problem was that I the deck is pretty fixed and I was afraid that I cut a card which is important for the combo. And as I told you before, I'm really bad with playing um, Underworld Dreams decks because I never played them before. I own the shell but never played it. So that's why I didn't bring that one in. I cut it to, to Sylvan, how I said it, to bring in two boomerangs to bounce your creatures which you bring into play with um, Eureka. One blue elemental blast as a spot removal like Terror for your Shivan, Earth Elemental or Fire Elemental. And one more Abyss. But to be honest, you were pretty good in fighting the Abyss. Need to say that. 
Yeah. Now, Crossroads is really great, right? Because it's enchant world, so for one green, you can kill the abyss. Yeah, and disenchant and tranquility. I mean, from time to time, I got one creature, but normally you were so well prepared for, for that card. And, and, and birds is pretty good too, but like, um, these are the cards I brought in the tranquilities because you have um, dreams as well as uh, uh, abyss. So this could two for one. Um, obviously, Red Blast would be really good when it's good. And I brought in two more Shatters to try to deal with Howling Mines or Black Vices. Um, there are instants I can also get them out of my hand if if uh, you put me in that spot. I didn't think Blood Moons are super. You do have a bunch of basics, um, and you have a lot of artifacts. Um, I took out the two Shivens, not because they were bad, but just I thought I'd like to just win the games with the really cool creatures that never see play. Because like, winning with Shivan isn't that fun, but winning with Crawlworm was just great. And the two draw sevens, and uh, and you don't have that much artifact. Um, I already have four disenchant main, and six is enough. I don't really want to bring in a sorcery um, that I can get stuck with and have even more artifact hate. Arabian, you don't have small creatures taking out Blood Moon, and Mirror could be okay, but I'm hopefully I'm going to deal more damage than you, so you're not the burn deck, so it's not clear that you're definitely deck i need mirror again so this was uh this was the deck um a lot of fun both two two cool decks a lot of fun games and uh i'm really happy to play some creatures from the alpha set that almost if not ever see play so uh really cool and uh we had a new win uh which was uh Pearl worm today so i'm real happy about that that's true. um next episode we will be doing uh, our series again of our new noob con finals yes and uh, we look forward to that and we'll see you there See you there. Bye-bye.